University. And for me personally, it's been a special honor to work with you throughout this process and as we continue this process to its conclusion. Dr. Clark. Thank you. Good afternoon. I thank you all for being here and I thank you, Commissioner Boyce, for those kind remarks. Uh, I have the privilege, have had the privilege of serving as chair of the Campus Search Advisory Committee. Uh, this is a committee uh, made up of 34 outstanding people representing the broad university community and charged with the tremendous responsibility of advising the Board of Trustees on this most important and historic decision. Don't remind me. I know I speak for the entire uh, community committee when I say that we have all been honored and grateful for the opportunity to serve, to represent our colleagues and friends, and to assist the board in this effort. The committee's responsibilities included helping to identify potential candidates, reading and evaluating the applications of candidates, recommending to the board candidates to be interviewed, to be invited for interviews, and nominating members to serve on the interview search advisory committee. This was a superb group of people a great committee to work with. They accomplished all of these responsibilities with professionalism, a commitment to excellence, respect for others, and a vision for leadership that are the characteristics of our institution. I especially thank the committee members for their careful attention to the feedback and suggestions provided during the listening sessions. It was clear that the committee members kept that information at the forefront as we reviewed candidates and made recommendations. Nine members of the committee represented the group on the Interview Search Advisory Committee. We were active participants in the interviews last week. It was clear that the board valued and respected our opinions and our understanding of what the university needs to continue its current momentum. As I said in July, when we began this process, the next chancellor will assume leadership of the University of Mississippi at a time of unprecedented success in its mission to transform lives and serve society. We appreciate that the board sought our advice and assistance in finding the right person to lead our university forward. At this time, I'm pleased to introduce Mr. Alan Perry, President of the Board of Trustees of the Institutions of Higher Learning and Chair of the Board Search Committee. We believe we have a great preferred candidate, preferred candidate, and I make that, I'm going to say it at the beginning and I'll say it at the end. The committee spent a lot of time on this process, as did Ralph Didlake, I might not have mentioned that as went by. Chuck Hussey, Trennis Embler, Andrea Jacobsons, Jesse Mitchell, who also served on the interview search committee, Charles O'Mara from Jackson. Pat Patterson, Mayor, uh, Lisa Percy, Roshna Prakash, David Rock, I think he was around someplace earlier, I think I said, yeah, over here, uh, Chuck Ross, Mayor Sharp Rain, uh, Larry Sparks, I know Larry is here someplace, uh, Sylvia Taylor, Linda Valiant, Alex Vasio Sivopoulos, uh, Wendell Weekly, Clarence Webster, Noel Wilkins, and Roy C. Williams, and Ethel Young Spurlock. Now, I spent a little time calling out all those names because they spent a lot of time on our behalf. And when you see them, tell them that you appreciate it because that is how this job gets done. They do a great deal of the work. At the interview, as Alice said, uh, nine of those sat with us and listened to everybody and then they told us what they thought of uh, each of them, the good and the bad and the strong points. There are strong points for every one of them. Uh, and helped us figure out uh, who was the best fit. And that's not always apparent from a resume. Uh, we're looking for not only what shows on the resume, but the personal skills, the people skills, the values, uh, 
the ability to fit into what is the best of Ole Miss's culture. Uh, and after we listened to all of them, and it became apparent that there was a surprising degree of consensus and unanimity at the first stage. I've never seen anything like it during one of these searches, and I've done some. Uh, it became clear that one candidate was clearly, and it was our collective judgment, was heads and shoulders above. And so that is why we bring you this announcement today. By doing this, obviously we hope to have our preferred candidate in place earlier. Uh, and I just cannot imagine that continuing the process would have done anything other than delay the result, given unanimity. So, our candidate was born in New Orleans. He graduated with a BS with highest honors in mathematics in 1977 from the University of Notre Dame. A PhD in computer science from Stanford University in 1980 and an MBA in 2002 from Duke. All good institutions. Starting in 1980, he progressed through the faculty ranks and leadership roles at Brown University. He held a distinguished professorship at Duke University and served at Duke as chair of the Department of Computer Science. He served as the Frederick L. Hovday Dean of the College of Science and as Professor of Computer Science at Purdue University. He served as Provost and Executive Vice President for Academics at Texas A&M. He now serves as Provost and Executive Vice Chancellor and the Roy A. Roberts Distinguished Professor at the University of Kansas. KU includes the main campus in Lawrence with 10 colleges and schools. Uh, uh, our campus has acted as the chief academic and operations office or for the Lawrence and Edwards campuses. He's overseeing KU's strategic plannings, the development of KU's first ever university-wide undergraduate curriculum review, expansion in engineering, business, and pharmacy, facilities growth, has been a major effort. He has done overseeing multidisciplinary research, alumni outreach, and furthering the goals of the capital campaign, and has been involved in the growth of technology commercialization and corporate partnerships. And, of course, he's tried to achieve administrative efficiencies. Our candidate is a scholar of great renown. Uh, now, it, it, some of you may know what this is. He deals with the algorithmic aspects of processing, compressing, and communicating mass amounts of information. Now, I understand that to deal with computers and lots of information. It's about as much as I did. But he is a real scholar at this. This is not, uh, this is a world-class scholar. He has been elected a fellow of the Guggenheim Foundation, a fellow of the American Association for the Advancement of Science, a fellow of the Association for Computing Machinery, a fellow of the Institute of Electrical and Electronic Engineers. He's named a National Science Foundation Presidential Young Investigator and is a Fulbright Scholar. He has over 300 book journal conference and patent publications. He's a ISA highly cited researcher with a Google search H index of more than 65, which I now know more about than I did, but it means that he, has re he is read a lot by people in his area of research. It is, is amazing, uh, at least uh, unusually high. So he is a renowned scholar, as well as being an experienced and highly sought after administrator. He also has the real interest that we want in a chancellor, in students, in faculty, in staff, staff, 
and the community of the state. Uh, we believe that he is the right candidate at the right time. There will be a conversation during the next week on campus and culminating our we're still kind of trying to put together our schedule, but next Thursday is kind of the tentative time when you can ask him questions, give us your feedback. Uh, we will be waiting for your participation and we'll be hate waiting to hear what you have to say. Uh, the way this process works is that after we announce the preferred scholar, or the preferred candidate, we bring him up here and uh, y'all talk to him. And so we are looking forward, hopefully, next week, if you concur, to name this person as the next Chancellor of the University of Mississippi. I'm very proud and pleased and excited to announce that the board's preferred candidate for the next Chancellor of the University of Mississippi is Jeffrey S. Vetter, Ph.D., Provost of the University of Kansas. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I didn't, Shane's here, board dies here, Shane's here. These, these trustees spent a lot of time and they get $40 a day for it. They've worked on it. So I just wanted to, is there anything else you need to say? I know that there's uh, certainly questions that need to be asked, and uh, we're going to take and move into the parlor area for the press for any questions that you may have for us. And we really do appreciate everybody's attendance here, and we're excited about moving this process forward. Thank you so much.